Welcome to the story of two sailors taking the long way home to Australia on a 38-foot boat called Finding Avalon. Subscribe and join the voyage. I can explain. I thought that it was just, I thought they were stacked on top of each other, so I thought it was just that. And then when she served it to me, and it, it's actually huge. <laughs> so, um, yeah, nice little mid morning snack. So, first of four days in Niue, and time to get planning. We're anchored right here in Alofi. We're expecting a huge northwesterly weather system to arrive in less than 48 hours. So for today, we'll need to pick some spots on the western side of the island, as we'll be restricted to the more sheltered spots on the east when that weather comes in. For reasons of a history of natural disasters and many new ends moving to New Zealand for various benefits and better healthcare, Niue has seen a drastic decline in population and entire villages have become ghost towns. It's actually really nice here because now that we're here in Niue, it's so bloody cold actually. You might have noticed we had two jackets on on the crossing. This is not a complaint, I'm loving it. It's just nothing's a chore. We have had to put the, the duvet on the bed as well. It's that cold guys. <laughs> Yeah, here in Niue, the reason the water is so clear is because Niue is a coral atoll. But unlike the other coral atolls we've shown you, like in the Tuamotu, it's actually an inverted atoll. It is a coral island. If you look at the ground and everything, it's all coral. So that's the reason why the water is so clear here, because coral's very porous limestone based so all that there's no runoff from the island all the water just gets absorbed and so no silt is transferred into the ocean that water that, that kind of gets absorbed by the coral has to go somewhere finds its way out a few gaps and makes freshwater pools we're going to go to a chasm that is freshwater which will be really awesome on avalon we really like freshwater attractions because it's kind of like a free shower you've had three showers in Shut two days Wow. Oh, crumbs. This is cool. Imagine if we had a drone. Yeah. So this is where all the fresh water just seeps through the land and comes out here. 
and makes this. <laughs> The mixing of the cool fresh water and the warm salty water was a strange sensation on the body. And it created a layer effect where it was clear on the bottom and misty on the top. So the weather swung a little earlier than expected. Uh, all the forecast models weren't anticipating for it to swing until later tonight. It's only 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, which kind of makes it a little tricky for us to get back to shore. And unfortunately, the most reliable thing on this boat so far has been our outboard engine. Susie! And the last two days, I don't know what's been going on, but it's been playing up um, and cutting out halfway over to the dock and we've been paddling the rest. And today is not the day for that to happen. Especially if we can't, we could probably get to the dock, okay, because the wind would push us there. There's no way we'd get back to Avalon. Uh, so yeah, we're weathered in at the moment with this rain. Um, I'm gonna attempt to have a fix of the outboard. issues and we've, we've both had a bit of work to do so we're like oh sick we'll just stay on the boat and get some things done and maybe go free diving and um, as you can see <laughs> it's pretty um, not pleasant on the boat today so we, we would like to we'd like to disembark so we're gonna um, put on some wet weather gear and row into town and um, eat some food and Find some rain again. Going on a trip. Yes, yeah, Suze, please stay with us, baby. When Mr. When you're young, to bring you okay. up to do like your daddy down. Me and Mary were mad at us, but she was a servant. Baby. That was that was pretty precision over there with um, the um, dinghy. I do wish we brought a blanket though because I'm not sure how we're going to get back to the boat. Oh, and I'm stuck in my jacket forever, so that works. Still. We 
go down to the river and hang the river with a Jackson's got really long legs. They look like breadsticks actually, he's really proud of them. And I've got really little sausage legs. So it's always really hard to keep up with him. So I'm just always running. He's right It's because I'm fueling up. Yeah, you've got so much energy yeah. from that high vibe food. Jackson's just found a tree he likes. <laughs> What's this tree you like? Oh, cool. A strangler vine. You mean a parasitic plant? That's cool. This is probably the most incredible like rock scape ever. I'm guessing that it's just thousands of years of weathering from wind and rain and salt and waves and all kinds of stuff. But it's crazy just how like jagged and sculptural it all is. Holy chasm! <gasps> okay. That's deadly, isn't it? Oh my god! Alright, don't look down. Don't do that! Why? That's dumb! Oh, I was trying to do a really good thumbnail. Yeah, we'll hold on both sides of the rope or something. Like, that rope's so untested. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I can't believe you just did that! What the hell? Like my heart. Oh, <laughs> I feel sick. Xanthi just leant back on like a dodgy piece of rope. It's all for the thumbnail, guys. Oh my god. We're just gonna have to read a clickbaity title. <laughs> Summer down to the river. The river is surprise, surprise date. Oh, it's not a surprise date. <laughs> so we're going to play mini golf. Because on Thursdays at the mini golf establishment, it's happy hour at four o'clock, so we're gonna indulge in that. And we met a lovely Czech boy called Jacob yesterday. It's really funny in UH actually because it's so small, and the plane that comes here is so small. You see the same people everywhere. Yeah. And um, we've seen Jacob every day, and before we knew his name, we called him Boy with Bicycle. And when it was raining, we were thinking, oh, I wonder what the boy with bicycles up to today. But the boy with bicycles still ventured out on the bicycle when it's raining. And yeah, we bumped into him yesterday, so he wants to hang out tonight. Mostly because he's keen on buying a boat himself. So he wants to get some tips. I thought you were going to say selling now, but. <laughs> that would be a great idea. Uh, he wanted to buy a boat himself, but, uh, so we thought we'd. Go and talk price. That's what we're doing. Because the rain has decided to stop just for a moment. Jacob has not been deterred. 
by the fact that we've told him that we've been going like this for two days. He thinks it sounds cool. I don't mind sucking on a pickle banana that in the middle. I don't feel for you, girl. It's no riddle. I find a she looks more better than I want her more better than a man. Pitching holes for help out of a glass. I might call for self. She's as cute as a puss in boots with good hair and it's real to the roots. Yeah, that's perfect for the life. I pray for an all work girl who the sweetest Kool Aid and buys a tuna like honey. I make me cry. A hell of a babe. Oh, me. Oh, my. My. Hell of a hell of a. 